Hi everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation and to this video in which I'm going to explain to you what the Nav8 symbols mean in the X-Plane mobile map. Enjoy! So, the first symbol that you will find is the VOR symbol. It consists of a blue hexagon with a dot in the middle and represents a very high frequency omnidirectional range radio station or VOR. This transmits sickness on all the 360 degrees and the pilot chooses to fly to or from the station and in which of these degrees. Now, these that I'm calling degrees are called radials in aviation language, just like the spokes of a bike where the VOR is in the hub and it transmits signals on all the 360 degrees, or spokes, or in aviation, radials. Now, the second symbol is the vortex symbol. It consists of the VOR symbol plus three tick marks on the edges. This type of radio navigation aid works just like a VOR, but it includes a taken, which is a military aid. Moving on, you are going to find this blue rectangle. It represents a DME or distance measuring equipment. For instance, if you see a VOR symbol combined with a DME1, it means that that VOR has distance measuring equipment. Now, another type of navi that is quite old but is still being used is called the NDV or non-directional beacon. This one works just like a VOR, but you can't choose a specific radial to fly to. With this station, you only know where the station is. You cannot choose a specific radial in which to fly to the station. That's why it is called a non-directional beacon. Plus, this type of navit has a longer range, so you can receive signals from it even if you're still quite far from the station. And, logically enough, if you see an NDV symbol combined with a DME one, it means that that specific NDV also has distance measuring equipment, so you will be able to accurately see how far from the station your airplane is. And last, but not least, remember that these are the navate symbols that you will find in the X-Plane map, but this map uses the same symbols as the approved FAA charts, so today you also learned about the real-world FAA approved chart symbols. Thank you very much for watching and taking the time to learn a little bit more about this wonderful aviation world. Bye-bye.